Ten year old Lloyd L.J. Jones has a favorite subject art. He prefers paintings, but he's not picky. Like all types. Jones is hoping to live long enough to someday visit an art museum. I think I know that fellow right here. He's the first child to ever be diagnosed with a very rare form of cancer called hyper eosinophilic syndrome. His mom knows the statistics. According to the doctors and Wikipedia, there's only been 50 documented cases. They were all adults, and none of them survived. Doctors say Jones' best chance at survival is a bone marrow transplant. Hi, how are you? No one in his family is a match, so strangers are coming out to help. You fill out one simple form, and then you swab one, two, three, and that's the end of that. Of all those who give a genetic DNA cheek swab, few will ever be called on to donate marrow. African people have more genetic diversity than any other peoples in the world. That's a good thing in general, but in this particular instance, it makes it more challenging to get matches for uh, bone marrow transplants. Also, African Americans make up only 8% of all those listed on the National Bone Marrow Registry. Currently, we have 8 million donors in the National Marrow Donor Program Registry, but unfortunately, only 28% of those are from ethnic minority communities, including African American, Hispanics, and Asians. Experts say people are hesitant to sign up because of the incorrect perception that donating involves a painful spinal cord extraction and lots of time off work. These days, marrow donors take medication for five days, then give platelets, just like giving blood, through a needle in the arm. For LJ and his mom, they are still hoping that someone, somewhere, could be his match. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, New York.